YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. The jumbo intro, file number 19 on the recorder. Welcome back to the Loki Ergonar YouTube channel. In this episode, I will be shooting the Beam and Chief 2 3000 PSI fill in synthetic stock, aka the Plus S. This was a very nice day before I sat right here and the wind picked it up. But today I will be shooting JSB Jumbo 15.89 grain from 50 meter. The rifle is right around 2700 PSI for now, which is not the best pressure range for this tune that I did. The barrel is a bit leaded since last time that I cleaned it which means I shot JSB 80s two times. You can always go watch this video after this one if you want to see that or before, but this will kill my watch time. Anyway, with the tune that I did on this rifle, and I'm not a professional at any of this PCP stuff, by the way, I shall be getting the best shot curve from just under 2600 to right around 1900. So I will shoot a few first at another target, trying to keep the best shots for the same group. My mosquito thing is about to catch on fire. That's not burning right. <clears throat> I might try to adjust the scope while shooting the... F what was that? So yeah, I will get to shooting and maybe adjust the scope a bit on the first few shots because the 80s and the jumbos didn't seem to land at the same spot last time, but we will see that. Okay, let's let's do that. I will go put my camera right on there, get like five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot until I get near just under 2600 and then change to the other target and see what we can do there is less wind now so hopefully it stays like that because this is why I came here audio synchronization take a look at that swiftness it's a nice baby I will start by shooting five just to know where it shoots I expect the, a eye right shot with those pellets I'll take the safety off before trying to do a good shot. <laughs> Bit of wind. Let's see if I can wait. That was right in the tape, I believe. Alright. I don't even know if I want to shoot another one. I don't even know if this one touched the target. So let's crank a bit to the left. One, two, three, four. That's better. <coughs> I don't know if that was me or not, but I'm giving it another four clicks left. One, two, three, four. I think I pulled this one, but I really don't know. I'm already... What the heck was that? A big weird bird just flew over my target, but I don't think you guys can see that in the target cam. According to this gauge, I'm almost already to 2500. What this means is that I will start the main shot group without adjusting the scope 100%. Because I don't want to go back home to pump and, you know. So sorry for the Bullseyes fans and... You know, we're shooting for groups. Let's do a 10 shot group from 2500 PSI, which seems to be a good spot for this tune. Let's see. What? This one did... That was weird. That's not even on the right side of the target. 
Let's see, I guess. Scope is tight. I don't understand, honestly, but I guess I will roll with it. It's grouping good yet, but I, I don't understand the point of impact. Mm, I did not see that one. Is it in the bullseyes? The bullseyes look darker than the other ones. If it is, I still don't understand. Did I break the scope? Did, did, did I break the gun? I'll go take a look at those five because that's weird. That That's around three inches almost. I don't get it. So I was shooting there. It was landing there. So I was hitting right about one inch, maybe. Then I was aiming there. I got three there in a pretty good under one inch for sure. But then they started landing there, which is hella weird. I don't get it. Okay, so since I don't understand what's happening and I pretty much ruined all of my target, already I will be shooting at the same target, at the same bullseyes I guess and hope for the best. I don't know what's happening. I'm right around 2400 PSI now, which is the real consistent shot curve I guess, which might explain a bit, but can, can a bit of velocity change do really that much? Tell me, you professionals. I really cannot say that I'm a pre-charged pneumatic expert or a long-range shooting expert, so any comment is appreciated. Just grouping there now, I guess. So maybe I got my pressure range wrong, but I'm learning. I did pull this one and if I pull like that where I did pull that's right where the pellet is but I don't know maybe not I really don't know if I need to turn it back up or turn it down. I don't understand what is happening. I'm still just a bit over 2200. So it started grouping there. Now I was shooting there and it landed there. I don't understand. Some sort of lines to help me line up the scope and that will be good enough because that's not good enough I guess that if you buy a unregulated PCP and you don't really know much about it just yet you might need to tinker a little bit to get it to shoot better yet all I did to it make it shoot worse <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not the best at it but you will figure it out hopefully I will too This one almost went sideways in the bridge, hopefully it did not damage it. That's not bad. Still not too bad for this distance and a bit of wind. I can take that, but I cannot explain what happened before that, honestly. Wind never stopped, so I shot anyway. I will put five more in there, but not this one because it looks sketchy. And see what happens. Don't know what happened during shipping, but 
those are a bit weird just over 2000 psi maybe even 2100 i only have four minutes left of filming but i'm starting to get raped by mosquitoes because this is not lighted up anymore see ya still not bad That that was not me. I don't think so. I pulled this one a bit to the right, but that's pretty good. I can take that. This one was a bit weird to chamber. It is getting loud. So I guess I get more air. I'm just under 2000, but I'm gonna cut the cameras off because this is about to to go to, to waste. I was about to go, but we still got a bit of air. We are still just under 2000 psi. So I just wanna see if it keeps grouping at this pressure before leaving, but I will do that one camera style, no microphone and this might give you an idea of the sound of this rifle from 50 meter. Keep in mind this one does not have an LDC because it's Canadian. And by the way, it gets louder near the end where there is more velocity, I guess, which makes sense. So just, just go shoot, buddy. Alright, so the first five were grouping pretty nicely, I'd say this is about one inch, my thumb is about one inch, so most of those are in a one inch circle, kinda, but I was right around 1800 psi before shooting the last five and that might not be it. So I guess I've learned today that it is not 2600 and I might be a bit more conservative, maybe shoot uh, less shots at a time to be able to get better results so let's do the outro to, to, to tell you that quick note the rifle was around at 1600 when i stopped shooting but stop shooting at 1800 next time okay all right so what do i think of today's results i don't really know all i really know is that maybe my tune is not that bad but I was using it at the wrong pressure range. The last one is literally a 3 inch group, but that was due to the pressure. But most of the group is well under 2 inch. This is one and a half from ear to ear. So that's pretty good. If I keep my rifle in the right pressure range, maybe we can do pretty good with this tune. Who knows? Let's see in future videos. I started by shooting there and I think I did hit the target the second time. I heard the noise at least, so I don't know. If that's it, I'm, that's pretty funny. No, that's a 0 .177. 0 .177 is so small when you, you just shot some .22s, but this thing is pretty good looking. So yeah, get a pellet trap. This is leading me to think that I don't need to tune it down or up right about now I have more testing to do with both JSB Jumbo, JSB 80s, maybe Express I believe that I got and also the Andy Gray custom pellets that it just sent me which are Crossman Holo Point 14.3 grains but with a special touch. Again a special thanks to Ergon Archery Fund for this review opportunity. You can get the scope, the rifle, Pretty much the pellets too from Aragon Archery Fund Canada. So if you are interested into that, go check a look. Did I say check a look? I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. And I will see y'all in the next one.